Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another historical humans reacts and we're talking about another museum but this time we're not talking about how the museum is bad no this time we're talking about intentional vandalism which is a uh, a different one for us where a Monet painting at the Musée d'Orsay was vandalized by climate activists where they stuck a a um what is it? A piece of painted cloth over the Poppy Field Museum demanding climate change action. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what it happened here is um, something that is unfortunately uh, rather common, uh, I should say, in like Europe and England at this time right now, is there are a number of climate change and uh, humane society type activists who feel that the only way to get attention is by taking cultural treasures and destroying them or at least defacing them at the very least yeah the, uh yeah there's they, an example from a couple of months ago where someone threw a, a can of soup on one of the paintings yes uh can, cans of soup have been thrown on um van gogh's and i believe someone tried something else with the mona lisa which the Mona Lisa is protected. It's behind glass uh, intentionally now. But yeah. it, it's it's an interesting conversation. And one of the reasons why we brought this up and wanted to talk about it is because at, at what point do you take a valid action in protest, in speaking up, in using your rights to speak for a cause? And at what point does does it go too far is, is this too much is this too far how how would you go about approaching this like what what are your thoughts on it there's there's a lot of things that i think will yeah, we yeah feel this, here. Is, this is definitely gonna be one for the comment section if people are interested <laughs> but, fight uh, down below <laughs> yes uh but one of the key things uh with a lot of these things have been happening is that they've been happening for the past couple years intermittently and the one saving grace uh behind those they've all been tolerated because they've ultimately targeted uh works of art that were uh protected from physical harm by hangs of glass or uh i think there's a uh another word i, for I forget it right now but there's other things besides glass that people will put over paintings when they're on display in museums to uh keep them protected from the elements and those do protect it from a lot of the damages that would otherwise occur uh, from these people's actions. And because of that, they've been more or less tolerated as a nuisance and or, you know, gaggle of idiots. Or a potential uh, artistic statement. And I think that's another rabbit hole we can go down in a minute. Yeah. You know, they, they've, you know, up to this point, they've been fair, pretty much tolerated because they've inconvenienced people. They forced uh, art off display. They got their name in the news. But they haven't done anything truly damaging to a priceless work of art. And here we see for the first time them actually damaging a, uh, a painting. Uh, it's unclear at this time uh, what the state of the Monet uh, is. Uh, presumably the adhesive uh, would cause damage to the paint below. But... Um, what extent that has been what is really being done uh, about it in terms of restoration and rehabilitation for the painting is currently in the museum's cycle like they are currently working it out in their in their own restoration labs and uh, so it's not yet I, I i guess i guess the the point that there is some level of tolerance and to to be fully apparent here i disagree with this action i disagree with how this protest goes I can understand it to an artistic degree of the expression of the statement being made of evoking specific emotions. I know a lot of the art world is centered around that and a lot of artists very much pride themselves in those evocations. However, in these instances and in, in these moments, you're just trying to do the most absurd thing you can to gather attention. And that's what this is, is to gather attention. The fact that we're even sitting here talking about it shows that this was, e even in the most basic degree, a successful protest. 
and that's yeah. that's kind of the point of it. It's supposed to be this self fulfilling cycle. It's supposed to be this whole recursive argument. But at the same token, like you're not gonna have really you're not gonna have people who who are policy makers are the decision makers. They're not the ones that really care about this stuff. The people who care about the arts in this degree in museums and institutions like this are the people who go visit, the aficionados, the people that are passionate about the topics, the artists themselves. You know, you might get the billionaires or millionaires that donate and throw money at the museums, but they're not doing it as much out of passion as the people who work there, as the people who who frequent there, who have the memberships. It yeah, just, yeah, it's a it's a selfish action. Yeah, they're, they're inconveniencing people for the, uh, you know, for the sake of, you know, themselves for you know their own ego their own you know my cause is so much greater than you know a couple hundred thousand people getting to see this every day or uh, just that that much of i think my cause supersedes a lot of other things and then you can even go and i think you and i are biased in this direction is we very much value cultural items we very much cult value historical items and a lot of paintings are both cultural and historic and they hold a lot of value to us both for the insight into the past and that historic connection and we understand that these items are very very limited they're very one of one they're very you know they're very bespoke it's not like these are going to be recreated and they're not going to evoke the same emotions as when they were originally created it just it's selfish in the regard that you'd be get, willing to get rid of a one of one cultural icon for a momentary grasp and the the part that I, I struggle with personally is I very much fall in line with the belief that climate change action is necessary I do think that we're going to have to change things I do think it's a very pervasive and like important topic for us to address right away but there is a lot of doom. There is a lot of fatalism in in that world where it's very now or never. The sense of urgency is next level. Yeah, and like honestly, a lot of these uh, cries for attention really just they resonate with me about on the same level uh, as uh, you know those streakers at the Super Bowl, where it's just stupid and inane and it doesn't actually achieve anything that you want you know if you're you know with this you know cause you know there's the whole sense of now or never and all that it's like well this isn't helping now and it's certainly not uh changing the never and like just, i said i i hate to say it but it is effective in the fact that we are talking about it right now yeah it, it is effective in that sense but it's just like again i I don't see it having, you know, that impact. Like, there's going to be no policy change because of this. It's just going to alienate and make people hostile towards the cause because it's like, oh, you want to, you know, institute environmental changes. So you're with those crazy people that like to destroy art? Well, like, and that's what this is setting up. Like, you know, it's it, turn, it turns the cause into a straw man. It's damages uh or you know in this case it damages but potentially damages priceless cultural artifacts it's it's i find it all around pretty stupid and you know the only real solution to it is to treat it like the super bowl uh streakers you ignore it you know you don't show it you ignore it and you just bring the hammer down with whatever legal penalty you possibly can on people for whatever it is they're doing here yeah it's interesting. It's an interesting topic. I mean, I, I think the point that they're trying to do is to get it into the every person's mind so they're more cognizant of it when they go to the ballot. But that's, you know, yeah. that's, it's, it, it's, it is what it is. It's a democratic action. Whether one we agree with or not, that's up to be determined. And like you said, if it is illegal, let the law system take care of it. But I think that's a good point for us to wrap up here before yeah, we yeah, go let, ranting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, just just let us know what you think of all this. It's it, it, it's a it's a real mess, and we're all very uh, we're all very sad here about uh, the potential damage to the uh, poppy field here. Yeah, don't go destroying historical artifacts, man. Just don't. Yeah. But we'll see you in the next one. Bye.